Need relationship advice? Need personal advice? Just need real advice. Call up now for Ask Ye. Keep the bread. All right, Dre, what's good? Hey, what's going on, Ye? How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm blessed. Um, I wanted to ask you, would you find, like, if you had a boyfriend, you and your man ended up having a child, would you mm-hmm. be offended if he asked for a DNA test before he signs the birth certificate? Um, would I be offended? Honestly, yes. But would I understand? Yes. So okay. I would say I get it, but I would be offended. And it probably would make me feel yeah. like, damn, that's how you look at me. But I understand nah, I mean, it. Not, and... not, necessarily, not necessarily, but would you like look at it as like a, a way to protect himself? Because there's people out there, they don't have kids, you know what I'm saying? Because you know, they, they thought it was real between the two and blah, blah, try to build a family. Then they go their separate ways, but still be in the life. But end up not being the child, you know what I'm saying, being the father of the child. So it's like not necessarily yeah. a, a, Look, a security blanket. I but. can I can completely understand that. And in a way, I kind of feel like that should be something that do, gets done automatically. But I can also understand as a human being emotionally how that would make me feel. You know, yeah. so I'm not saying that you're wrong to do that. But I do think that somebody would take offense to that, like, then you start thinking, is he doing something? Why does he think I'm doing something? Have I done something? Is there something wrong with that relationship? And it may not be those things, but you definitely will think it. And oh. maybe act a little funny. <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. Yeah. All right, well, thank you. No problem. Do what you got to do, though. No doubt. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Hello, who's this? This is Peter. Hey, Peter, what's your question for Ask Ye? How are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing well. What's up, Charlemagne? What's up? Peace, King. Yo, bro, like, to be real with y'all, man, y'all have uplifted my life. You, because you guys told me, like, about, like, generational wealth and all of that, mm-hmm. I bought a house with my ex now, and now I'm in this house by myself. I just lost my job. My ex seems like he's moving on. And right now, to be honest with you, the question I have is with me moving towards greatness, how can I stand firm in it? Because I have to look for a job. I'm single again. I don't know what to do. I'm like really lost. Like, but I know I have a goal as far as my music and my writing and my producing skills. I just okay. need to know, like, what do I do? What do I do in a moment where I just don't know what to do? Right. I think that sometimes we can uh, think so much about things that it causes us to not act because we're so busy uh, thinking about all the problems that we have and things that we need to make happen instead of actually going out and making them happen. And let me ask you this. Are you going to be able to keep this house that you guys bought? And is it only in your name? It's only in my name. Um, because of the Okay, heavy. well, that's a plus. <laughs> yeah, and I'm, I mean, even though I lost my job last week, Unemployment is like I'm able. I'm going to be able to handle my bills for a, some months, at least maybe a well, year. Well, that's a blessing. But the thing that is a blessing because of y'all, because of you and DJ Envy. No offense, Charlemagne, but because of y'all, like talking about real estate, I worked my way into it, and now I'm just like I'm stuck. I I, mm-hmm. I, I shouldn't. I feel like I should have never. I should have never like going into buying a house with somebody that I wasn't married to. All right. Well, look, it's in your name. So y'all did not really buy a house together. It's yours, number one. So it's not anything that has to be split up. Now this is your responsibility. And like you said, you'll be able to take care of it. You just lost your job last week. So you can give yourself a moment and cut yourself some slack. I remember when I was on unemployment, I had been working forever, you know, since I was a teenager. And so I was like, okay, now I'm going to take a month or two to figure out what it is that I want to do next in my life and get myself back together. Fortunately, you can afford to do that, like you said, because you do have um, unemployment taking care of your bills for you. So give yourself a moment. Like, you just lost your job last week. You know, you're out of a relationship. I had a really similar situation. That's the best time to take a risk and be really selfish, too, right? When you don't have to worry about somebody else. It's just you. And so now you can say, okay. Now I can just go for whatever it is that I wanted to go for. Whatever whatever I was scared of, whatever was holding me back, now's the time to go for it. The slate is clear. Yo, you know what? 
I appreciate that because I just bought an iMac book, you know, install logic to or to it or whatever and like I'm doing everything that I can right now in order to, you know, make sure I have a successful life. But it's mm-hmm. it's hard and I'm hearing what you're saying, but it's it's really hard. Like but I appreciate and Peter, what you're saying to me. Peter, and give give yourself some grace in a moment. You're a human being. You went through a lot of different things simultaneously. So I do feel like, yes, figure it out. Every day, give yourself some actionable things that you can do, whether it's getting back in contact with people that can be beneficial, whether it's you finding some job openings, whether it's you updating your resume. Just every day, make sure you do something. But also give yourself a break. It's okay for you to have a yeah. moment where you got to take care of yourself mentally and not have to feel like, oh, my God, I lost my job. I have to be doing this. I'm single now. Now I have this house by myself. No, you have a house in your name and not the other person's name that you don't have to worry about getting someone off the house, paying them out, nothing like that. You have your bills that you know you can handle for now. And now you have a little bit of time to get it together and find out what it is that you need to do. And I also feel like it is hard to go through a breakup and also not be as busy. Right. Because you spend so much time thinking about it. Maybe you're stalking his social media pages. What is this person doing? (laughs) Give yourself some things to do, even if it's not a paid job. Give yourself some things to do that are important to you so that you're not just sitting around. You know, maybe I mm -hmm. want I'm sorry. I wanted to get and I'm going to be I'm going to leave you alone. I'm going to let you finish off because I know how you guys are. But I know how you are. You're patient. (laughs) That's why I can't wait for your radio show. But I, I love Charlemagne and DJ Every day, my they my dudes. Love you, King. We'll all be on, so that'd be great. Eight hours like of my, amazingness. Yeah, like my my thing is, I yo like Charlemagne. I don't mean no harm, Angela. I gotta just shoot over, and I appreciate your advice, and I'm going to take that advice, Charlemagne, man. All right, well, check back in. Is there is there any way I can check back in? Yeah, just hit us. Um, Hit us up on the email. I wasn't Breakfast trying to Club cut AM you off, Gmail. Angela. I wasn't trying to cut you off. I just wanted to let Charlemagne know that at the end of the day, like, bro, I started listening to y'all in 2015, and I didn't like you. But I will say this. You made me love you. And I'm a black gay man who is not the average black gay man. And you, I know you appreciate the gay community, and I appreciate you for that, man. I love you too, and my I, brother. And I, and I and I'm in and I'm in um and I'm in I'm in therapy again because of you. That's amazing. I'm happy for you. Keep doing the work on yourself, King. Well, yeah, Peter, please check back in. I would love to hear an update in a couple of weeks. All right, that was Ask Yee, 800-585-1051. Now we got rumors on the way. All right, and when we come back, Rick Ross responds to Wingstop labor violations. We'll tell you what he said. I will right, we'll get into that next, so don't move. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning.